I listen to the Christian radio station in my car. On that Christian radio station, they play Lauren Daigle sometimes. This news article says Lauren Daigle takes issue with the label Christian artist. They want to consider themselves not a Christian artist, but simply an artist. They don't want to be considered a Christian artist. The world thinks they're a Christian artist. The world offers you rewards. Brothers and sisters, very seriously, what have we all learned in the last few years? That you don't get rich and famous or promoted or whatever if you don't sign up for the wrong team, the anti-Jesus team. This is an example of a wolf in sheep's clothing, a wolf in sheep's clothing. This is an example of something that is not quite what it seems. There are people that can sing about God, and I think even Jesus, and not mean it. So here's Lauren Daigle with her possessions of the world, her golden idols to worship. Here they are doing one-eye symbolism. Here they are, where? On the Freemason checkerboard! I am not searching for the Freemason checkerboard. It just so happens to be there all the time. I want you to sincerely know that, brothers and sisters. Here they are doing three sixes on each hand. Here they are doing the Osiris Risen Freemason pose, crossing the arms. And I just found this today, the vow of silence. So a Christian artist that doesn't want to be considered a Christian, but the world thinks they're a Christian, and they do the signs and symbols, the vow of silence, keeping the biblical secret, wanting their golden idols and whatever instead of salvation. It breaks my brain. Part of me hopes it is not true, but researching, praying, doing what we're doing, brothers and sisters, right? The world is deceptive from where we live and who we are, how old we are, all of that, to the music we listen to. This is on Christian radio, and it's the vow of silence. Strange world, deception much. It's almost like the father of lies is, is controlling things or in some control here. We don't know the Lord's will and way how things work. Things are going to work out for his plan. It is finished on the cross. Jesus Christ died so we can live. Let's all pray that Lauren Daigle realizes the truth of Jesus Christ and doesn't do the dumb signs and symbols to be in the club that, you know, it's not worth it. Nothing is worth your eternal soul. God bless you, everyone.